Hi, I'm Hayon. And I'm Easy Lion. That took a while. And this is Happy Times. Welcome, everybody. Today, we are going to be yeah. talking about our first times. Well, not our first times, but first times that people may experience when it comes into sex. Hey on. Okay, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? No, bitch, no. No, we're not gonna fucking do that. You fucking pedophile ass. She's gonna go on like fucking sex in the beginning. I don't want to talk to you about that. Last time I fucking had a conversation about you, it was about how the fact to catch you shouldn't like talk about like that and as you're petting one, because it makes us people at home and have had pets very uncomfortable. Alright then. How about if we just and, and try Hey, 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 how about how about okay. if we just try different voice impressions? No, no, how about this? How about we actually tell the viewers like what this might be like and what they can expect in the future in a way good. that's more reasonable and decent. For example, like you're gonna have this show called um called uh, Stories with Zeke where you're gonna read out your amateur uh, writing stories, and I'm going to talk shit on them because they are shit. Or stories of Noah, where I'm going to tell people about things that have happened that could change their lives for the better. Like the time I asked my holds in the bees. But that's not going to happen right now because I'm still uncomfortable talking with you about random strangers on the internet. Okay, so you're now, saying that uh, since you're scared about you're talking do. to random strangers on the internet, you're scared that a Michael Jackson's going to be watching you behind your closet. That only happened in one night mail, and we agreed not to talk about that. So, like, the alien abduction. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I kind of yeah. had the same dream, I like, but I was, like, fucking up an alien for some reason. Like, it was, I don't know how to explain Yeah, no, that was mine. Like, legitly, people out there, like, I know I've said a lot of fucking stupid shit, but I have had a dream where I was abducted by aliens. Um, and my decision was to beat the living shit out of them. Yeah. And ever since, and I've just been... Fucking petrified if they come back to a This is horrible. It's like I stabbed these fuckers with a kitchen. Like it was fire. Like did you have the, you had the same dream too, right, Zeke? Yeah, I had a dream that I don't know if it was an alien or more particularly a demon because it's like I tried to hide inside of an elevator. Next thing I notice, I start flying up and hit the ceiling. I drop. When the elevator door opens, me and whoever I'm with. Charged the alien, pushing him away. And as we're running away, it's like he tried to bring us back. And I'm like, here, put on this. It won't it won't basically allow him to attach to you whatsoever. And the thing was, we only see, had I, one hit. See, I had a much, much creepier dream. Like, that's, like, that's like reasonable. Like, that's, like, not too believable. Like, this, this is my fucking dream. Right. Close my eyes. I wake up. I'm on my bed. Some gray fuckers are in my house. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck out. Out. You don't belong here. Don't touch my family. All of a sudden, they start trying to hold me down. I start beating the shit out of them. Nonstop. Like, there was straight up mortal blood everywhere. Then I realized I'm not in my bed because my head's lifted up right now. I'm in a fucking spaceship. And I'm just running around killing fuckles until I black out as I'm hearing a voice in the back of my head. And it is literally saying, remember... Noah, remember, you can stop, please, no, as I'm just beating the senseless shit out of him. I was, like, afraid I had accidentally, like, murdered my family in my sleep. Because oh I was God. that petrified. <laughs> like, that's, no. Like, that's I, just I, creepy. That's creepy yeah, all that's around, like, dude. No, no, like, and it, it like, it gets worse, because I've had other dreams very similar since then. I had, like, a conversation with one that tried coming to my house, I'm like... I grab the kitchen knife, and I'm like, don't fucking come in you. And he starts having, like, a conversation with me, like, put the knife down. We just need to talk. And I'm like, fuck no. Get out of my house. Damn. And he's like, could you please put down the knife? And anyway, then there's just it gets creepy from there because there's this bald dude who walks in with him in black outfit. It's really fucking scary. Um, and I'm, I'm scared shitless about it. I, I'll talk more about it, but, but not, not, in, not in this podcast. All right. um, I think it's my turn to talk um, about one I'm of my dreams that I have had. Like, one okay. of the dreams I've had was... This was the creepiest dream I've ever had, actually, was that... um, I remember that, for some reason, I walked in on a subway train. 
And as I was on there, it was just me, and I remembered that, basically, I was sad about something. I didn't know exactly what I was sad about, because of God knows, I can't remember. But I remember at the end of the train, where I usually could open up the door and just sit at the back of the train, and just watch the train go to going backwards. I don't think you can still do that in New York now, but back in the time, you could still do that. And, um... Basically, I started talking to this lady. She's like kind of like a gothic chick. And then um, after a while, she's being like an ass. Okay, so you can then... tell you about those dreams. Like, they make us uncomfortable. Like, nobody wants to talk to you about sex. We've been over this. No, it's not that. It's not Apologize that. It doesn't even go into that. It doesn't even go into that. It's like, I, we, do not, we do not want to hear about your fetishes. Jesus, Noah. Okay, go on. Go on. Hang on. Go on. Shit. Go on. Alright, so anyways... Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> anyways, after that is, we both get off, we start talking and shit, and then we're walking through a dark alley, and it starts yes. to rain. I know this setting sounds horrible right now, but that's what my dream did. And so, um, as I was walking down it, there was like this little ghetto-ass hotel that was there, and... I said, hey, why don't you get a hotel room? And she said, I said, why don't we get a hotel room? She said, sure. So we went and we tried to buy the hotel. But then the guy said, sorry, sir, but you don't got enough money. We don't take the money we got. And so I said, hey, why don't you just go and get the room and I'll just stay out here? And she said, no, I'm not going to leave you. And so anyways, after the dream, which is gone now, I remember that at one point she said, Zeke, write down this number, call me, because you're about to wake up. And five seconds later, I actually woke up. But did you call her? No, I did not call her. Well, you fucked up then, buddy. <laughs> could have been your one chance. That could have been like you, like, that could have been like your true love talking to you through your dreams. But, like, but, bitch, you will call so. this number. What and if, if like, by not calling that number, she died? Like, it was right. Inception. She was in the bathroom. She's like, Secret Agent Zeke still isn't caught. He should have gotten the dream message. And then, all of a sudden, the, the enemy just broke down the door and, like, mortaled everyone. And that's now your fault. Wow, you make everything hard on me. <laughs> I know, that's what I think happened. I think you were secretly once a spy. It would explain why your brain is torn to mush. Because they don't do proper psych evals, and that's why everybody's right. got PTSD and not any help. And, um, right. Yeah. You just, you just caused that to happen. Uh, okay. Clearly, that's what happened with that dream. That's the most logical uh, answer. I guess you're right on that. Um, Anyways, so, yeah. we got six moment. I mean, six minutes and 47 seconds on the talk show today, folks. So, anyways, let's get the conversation from dreams and start talking about how wonderful our newest president, Donald Trump, is going to be for the USA. So, I like to start off okay, with. Okay, can I, I just think... say something? All right. All right, all right. This wall he's going to build. I. I'm okay with keeping like like Mexicans the fuck out. Except for wait, when they have wait, Mexican hold on, hold on. Before you like, go on, uh, if we're building a wall, my question yeah. is: Are we really keeping the Mexicans out, or are we keeping us in? Yeah. See, a lot of people brought that question to me. My whole thing is: What the fuck are we gonna do about these Kryptonians? Yeah, right? exactly. Like, like I was watching this last Superman movie, and this asshole's like blowing up shit with his laser vision. Um, and I've been, I've been reading a lot about these issues in Kansas, and my thought is, is, we have this illegal fucking immigrant that can shoot laser beams out of his eyes, break down entire buildings, we need a kryptonite dome. Fuck the wall, okay? I don't give a shit about the Mexicans. But the bigger concern, the more logical concern here, the biggest issue threatening America, clearly built around all the scientific evidence we have, it's not the Mexicans, it's the Kryptonians. Okay. Yes, so that like, means Superman. I'm sorry, like, like, you're my favorite, but you gotta go. Superman, he's got the fuck out of this country. He's an illegal immigrant. He does not yes. belong here, man. We need to just no. kick him the fuck out. He is doing us no good. And plus, he is, he's gonna probably he try to act like God. Exactly. I mean, this fucker can blow up buildings with his fucking mind. Exactly. We need to do something. Get rid of these nasty, ugly, disgusting Kryptonians. 
Like, Excuse me, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I must state that we only have four minutes and 53 seconds left into this podcast. Ah, interesting, cool. Anyway, back to the point. Fuck the Kryptonians, he's the worst villain ever. We need to get rid of him, okay? And I don't really give a fuck about this wall unless it's going to be a dome made out of Kryptonite. Um, because that fucker is going to kill us all. Exactly. Yeah. That's my and subject. Um, you yeah. see, it's like Superman, everybody likes him, everybody hates him, but everybody really has no love hate relationship with Batman. Because everybody hates That's certain true. superheroes, but everybody well, loves no, no, Batman. No, no, no. Everybody likes Batman hold up, hold because up. he doesn't have I any super I disagree with that. I disagree okay. with that. First off, one, Superman is definitely a supervillain, okay? And Batman is also definitely a supervillain, okay? And, and here's why. The one's an illegal immigrant who's basically a terrorist, just destroying buildings nonstop. Like, we need to get rid of him. He is worse than 9-11. Like, everyone keeps bitching about 9-11. But I know, think about right? it logically. Like, how many people has Superman killed? Finally, with fucking Batman, he brings fucking children into war. That's child warfare. That is. That straight like, up is. Like, we need to call the UN on this shit. Like, I'm, I'm serious now. Like, if we could just get... Because he doesn't couple... call the children in the war. Because he got the young justice. And I'm like, wait a minute. These guys are kids. And they're sending them into battle? Exactly. It's it's only okay if they have superpowers? Now, come on, people. Come I on. know, right? Come on. Gun. They're kids. What if they die? So, oh, wait. They already did. A vote, a, vote, a vote for Noah as president. Noah Henry Hughes is a vote against child warfare, against supervillains. Because yes. no way, shape, or form should any 12-year-old be armed with staffs and sticks and defend anything more than their household. Yes. Hold, okay? The city is not acceptable. Now, if you want to give them a shotgun, that's one thing. But this ninja <laughs> bullshit, it's got to stop. No, look. This... All right, kids, listen up. If you guys are getting bullied in school, just bring a gun, go inside your school, go wild. Everybody will love you for it. That. <laughs> At least half the bullies will die. I mean, that's the safe situation here. Um... Yeah, no, don't do that. Seriously, like, don't, don't fucking do that. Seriously, like, that was just a dark right joke. Like, that, that is, was just a dark that joke. That was really sad. That was that was not funny. Like you should no. actually be ashamed of yourself. Like seriously, I am. Like, this is I going am. Off. I got dark I humor. What can I say? Children. Like, okay, seriously, we're gonna talk about this now because this is a serious issue. Okay. Oh god. Uh, no child should be allowed access to a firearm inside a school. In fact, this one was a solution. So I had to give guns. It's bullshit. We should freely yeah, you know be Hold giving on, it to every I think that's staff. bullshit what Donald every Trump wants to do. He wants the to give all the teachers the guns. Issues, AK-47. No, like, like seriously, like, these, these school shootings are really fucked up and evil, but it really shows, like, the issue of society nowadays because... It does. Nobody's treating anybody like people anymore. People are to just... To me, it's like we're treating people terrible. like animals. Like, say, we're yeah, animals we're and we don't give a shit about like, anybody's... It's even more than that. Like, think about, like, society need to, like, voice social actions with people. Uh, people are gonna hate me already. And, like, need to teach people. And how much we promote bullying by our actions. Anyway, this is talking about all the happy, wonderful things that are gonna make this world great. And, uh, yes. I really love Happy Times uh, podcast. Yes, um, Happy Times. This is more of a shitty ramble, but we'll get yeah. more better in the future. Hey, well, it's just the first we'll video, so give us a break, you assholes. Yeah, seriously, it's not my fault I have a speech impediment. Fuck you. Yeah, so I thought that I'm special ed and black. So what? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck All right, guys. guys. Thank you guys for listening to the first Happy Sable. Times show. Podcast. This is episode one, yeah. Break a Leg. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful time. Stay tuned for our next episode known as Acid Trip Gone Bad. Cool. I can